This is definitely going to be my race shoe moving forward, I can already tell, um, especially for that 10k distance and above. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking all things Alpha Fly 2. Um, I just unboxed it this morning, I'm yet to run in it. I'm going to go out for my first run this morning. My plan is to take it to do um, my classic Thursday um, threshold session, so 3 by 10 minutes. But before we get into this video, I'm really excited to announce that Team Varga, um, this is, these are their new bucket hats. I personally am not too sure about these. Um, I prefer more of the classic um, Team Varga hats that you've seen on the channel for maybe the last, whew, I don't know, three or four months. But they are officially a partner on the channel and I'm an ambassador for them now, which means um, you guys can get 15% off all purchases on Team Varga using code uh, Ben is running. 15 um, which is pretty cool so yeah if you want to check out the new bucket hats they just came out um, last week I believe and these are the classic um, hats that you see me wearing in all my videos pretty much and wear them backwards um, I'm more of a forward hat kind of guy but yeah the Alpha Fly 2 unboxed it this morning um, so quickly go over some of the changes that I've noticed in this version compared to the original um, version. I'm a big fan of the Alpha Fly lineup from Nike. I've raced everything from 5k all the way up to the marathon. Um, this is the shoe I wore for my 228 marathon in Copenhagen. I also ran the Reading half marathon, um, my PB for, um, for that 68 minutes in the Alpha Fly that was actually in a different colorway, uh, the orange colorway. So yeah, between me and my housemate Charlie, we have four pairs of Alpha Fly um, in the house now. This is his pair of Alpha Fly. Today we're talking about the Alpha Fly 2. So what is different? Um, main changes I can see to this shoe are to the heel area of this. Um, the platform here on the midsole, a little bit wider on the back, and the way this ankle has been sculpted um, the ankle area is a little bit different and on first impressions putting it on my foot and I said I haven't run in this shoe yet But we will give you that um, that first run this morning um, It feels a lot more stable in the heel. Um, I don't know if it's wider. Maybe the fur the foam is slightly firmer um, Let me compare quickly to the original um, No, it feels about the same. Maybe this one feels a little bit softer and that's probably because I've put maybe two or three hundred miles in this one now. Um, but yeah, they seem to be fairly similar in terms of um, durometer. So yeah, the heel has changed. This area of the shoe as well on the upper has had a complete revamp. Um, if you compare the two, they look completely different there in the heels. Um, this is designed to give you a bit more of a lockdown. The back of the foot here is going to be cushioned by this um, large padded area which is completely a complete revamp um, so I'm interested to see how that how I'll go on with that how the lockdown feels um, over the top of the lacing you've got this sort of ribbed um, fabric which yeah is gonna prevent any sort of pressure from the laces the outsole has changed a little bit um, same sort of compound but yeah the grip has changed a little bit and um, especially on the the rear of this outsole we've got some more foam here and the groove on this shoe also to note is a lot more uh, indented you can see there between the two um, a much more um, cut out um, groove so yeah that'll be interesting to see how that affects the ride the final uh, changes to note is the uh, the Zumex is now underneath these pods as well um, I think yeah like Andy the Forestine said in his review I think this is just to protect them and um, this little layer here you see the white um, just to protect the airpods from popping maybe it will give the shoes a little bit more cushioning as well which will be welcome and yeah that's the prototype colorway this is the um, the prototype number when shoe companies apply to basically make these shoes legal to race in and um, they don't actually have the names of the shoes they use little codes like this so I think that was the code but yeah other than that it is pretty much identical to the version one same foam same airpods 
Um, slightly different geometry um, and the upper yeah, has seen some changes but at the end of the day it's that same atom knit um, that it had in version one. So yeah, I'm going to get out now and give these a test, see how I get on and then share with you my first impressions. Um, I'm also planning to do a bit of a 5k effort at the weekend in the park run. Um, so I'll take these over the 5k distance as well. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and um, see how I get on and um, see if we can run maybe a, a sub 16 um, clocking in the alpha fly this weekend. And um, yeah, the, the testing will continue and I'll give you a more of a full review after say 500 kilometers. My first run in the Alpha Fly 2. Um, spoiler, I'm a big fan, really, really enjoyed the ride of this shoe. The energy return is very similar to what we had in the previous iteration, if not better. And um, yeah, the session was three by 10 minutes at threshold, and for the reps today, I averaged 307, 307, and then 309 for the last rep. Um, I'd say maybe I was going a little bit putting a little bit more in today than threshold effort. I'm just going to be moving more towards um, some track stuff, so I'm trying to add a little bit more speed into my training at the moment. But yeah, at that sort of pace, which is around my 10k race pace, um, the shoes felt great. So yeah, let me just go into some first impressions. So as I said, the energy return in these shoes was yeah, exceptional, a very similar feel to the original, um, a nice sort of transition from when you land on the midfoot up onto your toes, it gets you gets you rocking forward. It does feel a little bit firmer, I'm not sure if it's that if that's down to the foam the foam or the carbon plate is slightly different angled. One of the big improvements to this shoe comes in this area of the shoe in the rear of the foot. Um, it just feels a lot more stable when landing on the heel area. Um, I don't know about you, but if I walk around in the Alpha Fly, say at the start of a race, it feels a very unstable shoe. Um, whereas this feels a lot more stable, which is really good. So if you've struggled maybe with stability issues with the original, then this is definitely an improvement, especially in that um, rear of the foot. The lockdown has also improved. I was a big fan of this new heel um, tab and counter. It's very, very plush. Um, and it also has a nice bend to it. Um, so yeah, it gives quite a lot, but it also keeps the rigidity in this lower section here. I also really liked the new um, padding on the lacing. That was a welcome improvement. Just feels a lot more comfortable on top of the foot. The shoe has got a little bit heavier. I think maybe five grams heavier in my UK size eight. Those extra grams are, have have seen some improvements, so basically it's a welcomed um, sort of trade-off, if you like. And yeah, the grip overall was was excellent. Now, I wouldn't say that the previous version had any issues with the grip, but this new um, rubberized outsole that they've gone with was really good, especially on the corners, and um, the improved stability of the shoe and that, and that new grip made for, yeah, a really enjoyable ride. There's nothing really more to report in terms of the performance other than I really, really enjoyed my first run. A few downsides to the shoe that I've noticed from my first run. In the version one, there was some issues with people getting um, blisters on the arch of their foot. Um, yeah, the, the Alpha Fly, I think it's the way the foam is sculptured, um, has a really high arch. Um, I would say it's improved. It's not quite as high in this, um, the Alpha Fly 2, but it's still there. I noticed on my cool down, I was still getting a little bit of irritation on my left foot in the arch area. So that's something I will monitor over the next few runs. If you suffered from um, pain in the arch from the previous version, then I can't say that that has been totally eradicated in the version two. And one final downside that I did notice on this version is on this outsole here. Um, 
right here on the rear, let me just focus the camera, right here along where this harder rubber meets the Zoom X, um, this area here is slow, uh, showed some um, some breakdown already, which is, yeah, you wouldn't, you won't usually see any wear and tear after the first run, so that's something I need to keep an eye on. But other than that, I thoroughly enjoyed the Alpha Fly Next Percent. Um, this is definitely going to be my ratio moving forward, I can already tell, um, especially for that 10k distance and above. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is just a first impression. I'll give you a more full and detailed review after a few more weeks of testing. But for now, very impressed with the Alpha Fly 2. Let me know in the comments what shoes you would like to see me review next on the channel, and we'll see you again soon. Aspire to run, run to inspire. <laughs>